Hey guys, so if we were absent um, for half reactions or if you just need a refresher, this is the video that you're going to want to watch. Right now I'm going to work through example 10a, which is this one in your notes, that is our 10a, and we are going to um, quickly go through what it takes to do a half reaction. So I'm going to start with my equation, and if you look, um, we're not balanced, I'm going to balance that out. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to look for anything that is free state. Free state means that they are unbonded. Anything that is in free state is by default, um, doesn't have an oxidation number because it isn't bonded to anything. So I'm going to go in, erase, 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 and I'm going to assign those oxidation numbers. So our copper has an oxidation number of zero, and our silver also has an oxidation number of zero. That's pretty straightforward. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to identify any polyatomic ions. Now my polyatomic ions are going to be nitrate, and if you look at the nitrates here, they um, don't break up. There's no change in them. So I can just use them as written on the periodic table, or sorry, on table E. So I look them up on table E, and I've got a negative one and a negative one. They do not change, so that means that my nitrates are my spectators, which means essentially I can ignore them while I'm writing out my redox reactions. Now I'm going to do my oxidation and my reduction. One thing I need to remember is the rule oil rig. Oxidation is losing, reduction is gaining. So right now I am going to put that in here. I'm going to identify what's doing oxidation, what's doing reduction. And in order to do that, I must um, assign my oxidation numbers to my ions that are in these nitrate compounds. Okay, so let's do that now. My silver I know is going to have a plus one charge because of this negative one. Because the compound has to have a total charge of zero, that means my silver is going to be plus one. Over here, my copper has to have a charge of plus two, and the reason for that is right here, I've got a subscript of two. That means I have two nitrates, each with a negative one charge. That gives a total charge there of negative two. In order to balance that out and have a neutral compound, my copper must be plus two. So now I'm going to go in, and I am going to bracket out my species, copper to copper, silver to silver. When I do that, I can see my copper is starting at an oxidation number of zero and ending with an oxidation number of plus two, which means that I have to be losing two electrons. So I've got my copper forming copper with a plus two charge. In order for that to happen, two electrons must be lost because I am losing Anything you lose goes on the product side because it is leaving the system essentially in this half reaction. But we're going to be recapturing that in our reduction reaction. So if we look at our silvers, we have two silvers, each one with a plus one charge, and we are going to be making two silvers with a zero charge to go from plus one to zero, we have to gain one electron, but the issue with this is that we have two of them, so that means that we're gaining one electron twice, so that means we are going to add in two electrons. When we do our check to make sure we've done it correctly, we look at our number of electrons gained and our number of electrons lost, they should 
be the same. If they aren't, go back and check your work. If they are, you have probably done it correctly. Play. 